Hey guys, welcome back. Come again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show we're taking a look at the Hasbro Plasma Series Ghostbusters, Peter Venkman. Um, today's Thursday. On Tuesday, we did a showcase of the entire series right here. So if you missed that, go back, check on it. It's in the Ghostbusters playlist. Uh, you can also find it on the homepage for the channel. Now, as I said, I'm going to be covering each figure each day, uh, each Tuesday and Thursday for the next few weeks. Today we're doing Peter, and then we're gonna go in order uh, from the back of the box. Uh, Peter is first, followed by Ray, which will be next Tuesday, and then Egon next Thursday, Winston the following Tuesday, Dana the following Thursday, Gozer the Tuesday after that, and Vince Clortho the Thursday after that. As I said in the previous video, I only publish videos on Tuesdays and Thursdays unless it's something that just cannot wait. So as you can see here, let's go ahead and move Venkman out of the way. One, each figure does come in a clamshell packaging like this. This, of course, is uh, Gozer's clamshell. Comes with this as well as a, uh, a cover for the front so you can't take the figures out. And then we have this nice little backdrop inside the box. Blueprints for the Proton Pack and Proton Wand. It's very nice. Let's go ahead and open that up and take a look at that more in depth. As you can see there, and as you can see, we've got the Ecto-1 there. Really cool. And these do, you can open these up. They're just tabbed in place so you can see the whole thing. That's nice. I like that. I may ke actually keep these uh, for a while anyway. Now we'll go ahead and put them back in the box. And now these, the Plasma Series does not go with uh, or come with any instructions whatsoever. Uh, they come with a little thing, a little piece of paper, but that's not instructions. However, I will show you how to put the Proton Pack on uh, in during the course of these videos. And they're all fairly simple except for Ray. Ray uh, is a little bit bulky for his Proton Pack. Peter does come with the leg of Vince Clortho. It's the, maybe it's, I, it's either the front or back leg. It's kind of hard to determine in this image. I think it might be the hind leg. So it comes, it's the right hind leg of Vince Clortho. And we'll go over all the articulation with this when we build the terror dog. Now we take a look at Peter Venkman and he's a nice figure. The face sculpt though isn't that great. It's okay. Yeah, it, it could definitely be better. I could not find a place really to attach the trap. So I just have it attached where his two-way radio is. Um, yeah, there really is no other place to put it can't really put it well yeah you can't really put it on the proton pack at all uh, so the best place I found to put it is hanging on his two-way radio just like that and let's look take a look at the sculpt of that real quick it does not come with a pedal or anything like that um, however there is an indention here. Let me see if there's a place for that. No. Doesn't really look like it. But it's hollow. It's made of a soft, almost rubbery plastic. Uh, the doors do not open. It's, in fact, you can barely make out um, where the separation between the doors is. I don't know if you can see that there. 
uh, right in the middle. There's just a slight indention there to show the separation of the doors. And they did the paint just complete. They didn't even put it off just a little bit to make it look like there were two doors there. But overall, it's nice even though it does not come with a foot switch. And then for Vankman, his the hardest thing about these figures is putting the uh, neutrino wands in their hands. But they do attach to the proton pack. Um, yeah. And as you can see, there's a hole in the neutrino wand right there that attaches to this peg on the proton pack. Just like that. Now they did make uh, Peter's pants, pant legs, a little higher than what I think they should have been. And that was mainly for the articulation of the foot, it looks like. So that's not too bad. You know, they, they could have put it a little bit lower, but I mean, it looks like he's <laughs> planning for water there. <laughs> <clears throat> and I'm sorry guys I don't know what's going on with my voice I may be losing it uh, or I may just have a frog in my throat I don't know <laughs> but anyway the uh, proton packs do come off um, and there's just a peg right there that you make sure this arm straight and there's a peg on the back that holds it into the back and you just slide it off just like that. There's the peg, and there's a hole in his back where it slides into. And you can leave the proton packs off if you want, and it just snaps right back into place. It sits straight up, no, no problem at all. And yeah, the detail on this proton pack is nice. I really like it. And of course, there's only one red piece on the lights of the back to show that the lights are alternating. But real quick, we'll go ahead and zoom in on this proton pack so you guys can take a look at everything going on with the sculpt. All right, <clears throat> so now we'll go ahead and move that out of the way. And we'll take a look at Peter Venkman. So for articulation on Venkman, he, has, he does have multiple points of articulation. Uh, number one is the head is on a ball joint, turned side to side, look down, look up that far, looks down that far. Uh, so not a huge, huge amount of articulation. He, does, he can't look down super low uh, and he can't look up high very low either, or very much either. Uh, he does have bicep articulation, a bicep swivel right there, uh, ball joint and hinge at the shoulder. His arms can go up that high. Uh, they can rotate all the way around. Um, and I already did the bicep articulation. He has a double elbow joint which are really stiff right out of the package. So you gotta be careful with those. Which gets him quite a bit of articulation in the elbow. Then for the waist, not a lot of waist. So, I mean, they can go all the way around if you wanted to, but the belt, it is pretty tight. And the belt is a separate rubbery piece. So it does not move along with the uh, waist articulation. And then you got the legs, which the legs can go out to there. And they are on a hinge and go up. Well, not really a hinge, but like, a, I guess kind of a hinge, a ball joint more and like, more or less. Uh, they go up to there. They go back all the way to there. 
and he's got a thigh swivel, which is nice. Double knee joint, which as you can see is very tight. And as you can see, he's kicking his own ass. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? I'm kicking my ass, do you mind? Well, there's something you don't see every day. Um, let's go ahead and bring this back, try not to break it. And of course, as I said, he's got ankle articulation. His foot can go down that far and go up about that far and can tilt side to side. There's the outside tilt, which is quite a bit, and the inside tilt, which is also quite a bit. And I have to say he stands pretty good with or without his proton pack. So there he is without the proton pack standing very nicely. Now we'll go ahead and put the proton pack back on and show you how he stands with the proton pack. So you just slide his arm through there first and then his head through and peg it to the back. And then this is the trickier part on each of the figures. Try and do, clip it back. Uh, Peter, Winston, and Egon are easier to do than Ray uh, because Ray's a little bit chunkier. <laughs> there he is holding the uh, ghost trap. In fact, we'll go ahead and mount that. Um, where do we want to mount it? Do we want to mount it back on the two-way radio? Yeah, that's a good place for it, I think. And now we'll move him back. There he is standing up, and we will compare him to the other Peter Vankmans. All right, so first we'll compare him to the 2016 release Peter Vankman. And he is just a little bit shorter than that Peter. Not a whole lot. Um, just a little bit. Let's go ahead and measure him. He stands in just under six inches tall, whereas the 2016 Peter Vankman is right at six inches. And now we'll bring in, I believe this is the Diamond Select Peter Vankman from Ghostbusters 2, even though the, the figure... Um, has an appearance in uh, Ghostbusters, the first Ghostbusters movie along with the Taxi Ghost. Uh, they put him as Ghostbusters 2. So there he is with that. And that Peter Venkman is about the same height as the 2016 release. And now we'll also, just for fun, put him next to the real Ghostbusters Peter Venkman, which obviously there's a huge height difference with. So there you have it, guys. This has been the 2020 Hasbro Plasma Series Peter Venkman with Vince Clortho Build-A-Figure rear right leg. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you tune in next Tuesday for our review on Ray Stands. Take care, geeks. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, go ahead and check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon from Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.